uh, the Dubin of Bellagio, the, the casino in the Venus Milan. They run the water through something like this, and that gives it a laminar flow that holds it together. I always wanted to make a water cannon like this, you know, squirt gun boards, went with squirt guns, and then with the super soakers. But that's all face-to-face, -face, you know, combat, water combat. I always wanted something that needs compressed air and maybe shot in a quart of water at once and slug and stay together. And so the other side could be on the other side of the football field. Bonk! This thing would go and just this slug the water would come over and just chalk them, you know. Um, I was one of the ones that did that. Of course, it would replace us. I've had the compressor and large water supply and all that. Uh, this, this would be considered artillery. You'd have to carry it around, you know, in a wagon. It would not be used for shoulder mounted water person. I think that'd be a lot of fun. You could also watch it over a building. You know, and it's just the, the same weight all the time, the same air pressure, the, the laws of ballistics would apply. And you could pinpoint exactly where that's going to come down. He had a spotter, so he gave, he's in the spot, hit it, and launched this thing over building. They, they think that, you know, I don't know, God was throwing water at him. Why not? <coughs> a lot of fun. Uh, my, but my mind was idle. It, it goes the wrong way. Anyway, it flows much better than the color style. This, this shows another view of the uh, modern color. Look, I'll go through with a nice, nice trick. This is an S style. This is actually cheaper to manufacture. They just have this material that is in that honeycomb thing, coated, and then they just roll it up and it's gently the two. So this greatly reduces manufacturing costs. You don't have to have this custom made for each one, without custom made. You can just have a bunch of this material kind of fit and roll it up, jam it in the pipe, and you've got it. It works just as well. Catalytic converter is generally in the exhaust of the system, midway between your header pipe and your buffer. Yeah, the second one will be right in line with each other. And it gets hot. See, that's usually right under the floorboard of your car. Or right next to your leg. Uh, for motorcycles, the heat was a big stumbling block. BMW did a lot of work with that. Uh, it, was, it weighed a lot, it was big, bulky. The heat and the proximity to the right of the fuel tank was a real problem with the use of catalytic converter on a motorcycle. It was dangerous, actually. The BMW did some advances using super ceramics. Uh, this modern ceramics are pretty, it's pretty precious material. Uh, it's coffee cup for ceramic, but it's brittle. But it has great heat shielding capabilities. Ceramic is excellent for holding back heat. It doesn't transmit heat very well. And so by using these, some, the new super ceramics, which are actually tougher than regular ceramics, have a certain amount of tensile strength compared to regular ceramics, and uh, are machinable. You can actually put some machine tools on them to shape them the way you want. Uh, the movie The Graduate, uh, they went up to Benjamin, Dutton uh, Hopkins. And the guy said, after he graduated from college, he goes, one word, plastics. And that was the, the, the upcoming industry in 1960. I'm telling you right now, the word is ceramics. If you want to invest in some new product, I would definitely look at the ceramics. Uh, you're going to find them in more places than ever. It's already happening. We're seeing ceramic coatings in inside engines to help control heat and reduce furnaces. Uh, BMW is using it to keep the heat away from the rider from the catalytic converter. Once BMW figured out a way to do it, lightweight, compact, and he isolated the heat, they provided that information how to do it to the rest of the motorcycle industry, no charge. They didn't license it, they just said, here it is, do it. Because they knew that if the government stepped in, and they will, and forced the industry to make a change, BMW would Kill the most pain because they are they're not a big seller compared to the Ford Japanese and Harley Davidson. BMW was a little player in this field, and whereas Honda and Harley can take a hit, you know, and a, a financial hit.
said, BMW can. And I guess the Italian makers, Motor News, and the cut probably the worst position in the universe for this. So they knew that as the, the, the little dog that did this dog pound, they better show the big dogs how to do it. And that's what they did. And it, it, it wasn't for their own self interest, but it comes off and makes people look very, very good. This is the original catalytic converter. This is a foreign one used in a motorcycle exhaust. This one didn't work for the dam. Uh, a, a variety of this to help had two exhaust pipes going in, and just like that was one that was on the RZ. It is a monolith style. We didn't bother the pellets at all on the motorcycle. It was just a waste of time. But you can see that that exhaust flow is not exactly real efficient. We still do have a uh, head pipe joining right there, the junction right there. This is BMWs. They put it right at the end. It just looks like part of the part of the, the silencer. So it's back behind you. Works really well. The guy who works with it, uh, it, it was a 